So as we all know, rock drakes recently became breedable, which means that we can make the ultimate rock drakes, which is exactly what we're doing here in today's video. I'm really excited for this because obviously I've wanted rock drake breeding to be a vanilla thing for such a long time. We've done this with like mods before, but it's really exciting to actually get to do it with vanilla stuff. So here are the stats that we're working with. So we have 45 points into the health, which isn't super, super high, but I'm still pretty happy with it. I mean, I stole so many eggs and that was the best one I could get. So I kind of have to settle for it. We have 50 points into the stam, which is really, really good. Like I'm super happy with that stat and it's already really high. Like it's basically 1600 right now. It wouldn't get any boost from an imprint. So, you know, we'd have to pile in levels onto that. But even as these drakes are right now, they're already really good. Uh, we have 50 points into the weight as well, which is awesome. And right now, without the imprint, it's at around 800. So I won't be mutating that stat, of course. And then we have 44 points into the melee. Again, not super high, but we're going to settle for it. I mean, I can mutate the crap out of these things. I really can. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I will catch you guys on the other side because this is going to take me a long ass time and I'm starting this video super early. So hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. So the rock drakes are ready and you may see them slightly in the background right there. They are really, really cool looking, but also really powerful as well. Did a moth just poop in the background there? That was super weird. Anyway, so this one right here in my inventory is a baby. So just bear that in mind. So we need, we do need to imprint one. We do need to raise it up and everything, but here we go. Look at those stats. They are really good. So first of all, I decided to do something a little bit different. Usually I'd kind of end up going for like a, at least 20 uh, mutations into each stat. For this, I decided, you know what? Let's go a little bit further with it. Let's actually just try to balance all those stats in around 100 points. So for the health and for the melee, I had to get 28 mutations respectively on each of those to try and get that up to 100. Although obviously the health was an odd number, so it's gonna land on 101. And then for the stamina, we needed to get 25 stamina mutations. And uh, yeah, right there, as you can see, it landed directly on 100 as well. Now, first of all, look over at the stats on the right-hand side. Um, I mean, that stamina as it is, is already pretty decent and almost ready to fight Rockwell with. I, I honestly kind of feel like, you know, we could, we could probably go in with that stamina and it might actually work. Although I would probably end up pumping up to like maybe 3,500 or something. Uh, shouldn't take too many levels to do that though. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, obviously the health and then the melee and all the other stats as well. They're all going to get a buff from the imprint. And I would say the health's probably going to go up to like around 20,000-ish. Maybe slightly over, maybe like 21. And then the melee might go up to around close to 800 or something i don't exactly know but either way these these stats are really good so i'm really excited for this and now let me show you what they look like because well you've already seen the thumbnail let's be honest it, it's probably in the thumbnail but you know what here it is as a baby i'm really happy with the colors i did the thing that i usually have been doing lately where i i end up kind of like doing all the mutations and then i just constantly breed them or you know along the way as well if i find some cool colors that i like i just constantly breed them to try and get specific colors so you know what let me put away real quick just to kind of break this down so we uh what is it region two does not show i'm pretty sure so region two you should just completely ignore there's no purple on it but uh, we have the really nice kind of glacial blue on region 0 and 5. And then region 1 is cyan, which actually looks really good. And then the other two regions, 3 and 4, are white. So, yeah, um, let, me, let me show you again. Let me just pop this little guy out. Oh, man, look at you. So, first of all, well, you know what? Let me put that off. We're going to need a name suggestion for this thing. And it's going to need to be something cool, okay? Because these rock drakes are very, very cool looking. I'll show you a fully grown up one in there. Of course, I do have the, uh, the parents breeding in there and whatnot so um yeah <laughs> i don't know i really like it i like the kind of color combination of the white and then the blue and then the cyan i'm not a, i'm not entirely sure about the cyan to be honest i almost kind of feel like i should probably change that and get something different but i don't know for the moment it kind of works out so let me go ahead and pop this little thing away we'll imprint that thing in just a second but real quick let me show you these things fully grown up so here they are and aren't they gorgeous oh man look at you you know what the lighting in here is not fantastic so maybe i could just pick one of them up and then just chuck it outside yeah i do have my thing let me go ahead and just chuck you out here just to kind of show off this thing so um all of this you know all this effort went into actually making these rock drakes over the last like week and um here's something funny <laughs> i don't even have good rock drake saddles 
maybe I have a full on saddle, but I definitely don't have a, a blueprint at all. So that really sucks. I'm actually going to have to go ahead and, and try to find a good rock drake saddle now. Um, let me go ahead and just chuck it in this direction. Maybe the lighting will be better. Sometimes the lighting around this area is super weird looking. Like, where's that shadow coming from? Super weird. But anyway, yeah, you can kind of see the colors here. I really like the, the combination of the blue and then the white. It's it's just the cyan really throws me off. And, oh, by the way, one of those white regions is like the wingtips or something. They're kind of yellowy, but it's like a, it's a weird region because if you get like one color, it shows up as a different color. I don't know. It's, it's very strange. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop you away. We need to raise up this old baby rock drake and we will need to probably head on over to Aberration and go to the surface and see if we can manage to get ourselves some uh, some saddles or blueprints or something. I don't know. You know what? Real quick, let me... Do I have my stuff? Let me go ahead and just switch into my gear. Ooh, there we go. Cool. Um, I'm going to just head on back to my base and just see... You can tell. Like, I literally did all this straight after the video where I showed off all the snail breeding. I still have all this crap in my inventory. But anyway, yeah. Um, I need to head back to my base because I need to see if we have any full-on just Rock Drake saddles by themselves. Like, I did check and I don't have any blueprints. So, I don't know. I just had a thought there that maybe I might actually have a full-on saddle rock no i do not have any at all wow okay yeah that's uh that, that's um damn yeah we're gonna have to craft a well you know what i should actually craft one we're gonna have to craft like a primitive one for the moment let's see rock rock drake right there we should have enough stuff for that yeah i was just thinking about the red gems but we have plenty actually because we have our little gotcha farm which i should probably show off at some point i really haven't done a whole lot to it but Oh my god, does it gather me so many materials? It's mainly just all the stuff that I can grind up from it as well. It's just absolutely insane. I love my gotcha factory. I need to kind of show that off a little bit more and also work on the rest of it and kind of complete the project. That's kind of something that I really struggle to do sometimes. You know, we start all these crazy projects and then it's like, well, I got to finish them at some point. So yeah, um, I think the only thing I ever finish is, is these mutation stacks which are very grindy. Although this one actually, I do have to say, was not the worst to do. Uh, I've, ha I've had worse experiences trying to make um, mutation stacks, but for this one, it was not so bad. Um, I did actually end up using one of the other chambers here, but I have some other creatures breeding in secret, so I can't show you them. But anyway, yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and raise this thing up. All right, here we go. This thing is ready for an imprint in just a few seconds. By the way, I feel like um, a lot of people asked in the video where I showcase like the fact that rock drakes can breed and everything i got a lot of questions about what they eat and they only will eat nameless venom so it's just like raising a normal rock drake they did not change anything here we go the lovely little animation oh man that's awesome all right cool so i'll see you guys when this thing is fully grown up which should be a little while from now so i was just looking at some of my other creatures here and i um i just noticed a pattern the the 96 color like the glacial blue I've been using that as many times as I can. Like, I got it on, on the Denonicus line that I have. I have it on Night Owl as well. It's on my Therizinos as well. Like, um, I don't know. I feel like that might be my favorite color. It's, oh, it's even on my Spino as well. <laughs> I have it on, like, so many creatures. That's insane. Oh, man. Oh, my God. You have not been taken out of the cryopod for 26 days. I feel bad. Here you go. <laughs> Are you okay, bud? Holy crap. Yeah, the, the cryopods now actually tell you um, when the last time you took them out was. So that's kind of embarrassing. I'm so sorry about you. Let me... Where's my gun thing? Oh, I think it might be in here. Let me go fix that. You know what? It's probably about time that we name the Sky Mammoth. Uh, if anybody's curious why this is here, because I still get a lot of comments about it. People are like, why do you have a flying mammoth? Uh, this is a mammoth that was on top of my old base that was in this location that I tore down. And when I removed the ceilings, he just stayed there. So I'm never going to move him. I'm never going to touch him. Uh, in fact, let me actually disable group whistles just in case. Uh, ignore group whistles. There we go. Cool. So yeah, this mammoth is going to stay here until the end of time. I hope. Oh, by the way, actually one time I did notice that it was starving. You still have food, right? Oh yeah, he's got plenty. It wasn't actually that long ago as well. That would have been so sad. I would probably would have cried. So this rock drake is fully grown up and there was an alpha T-Rex around here before, but I don't know where it went. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was like right around here the last time I saw it, which was probably about a week ago. So I don't know. I have no idea where it went. Maybe it jumped down here. 
Probably not. No idea. Anyway, so let me first of all just show you the stats as they are. So I haven't pumped anything in. We've just completely just got the imprint on top of all those stats that we had before. So the uh, health jumped up to 21k and then the melee is just over um, 800. So pretty good. And then obviously Stam doesn't get a boost from imprinting, of course. So um, and it does like 600 damage, which is actually really amazing i mean rock drakes are never known for their damage but i don't know this is this is pretty good considering the fact that we haven't even pumped a single level in these rock drakes are going to be pretty crazy so first of all how much do we get per level that's like 900 yeah like roughly 900 that is okay that's pretty good i am really happy with that actually 900 ish okay so what do we what do we say maybe like 3000 or 3,000, 30,000 maybe? I don't know. Oh, barely just over 30,000. Okay, cool. Um, That's good for me, I, I think. I kind of want to get the stam up as well. How much does that go by? 135 per level, okay. We'll go ahead and just pump in the two for the moment. We'll pump in more later. Uh, I do want to try and pump a couple levels into melee damage just so we have that up so we can kill things quicker and level. Um, that's kind of what I want to do right now. I just want to level it just a little bit and then we'll head on over to Ab and then try to actually get some Rock Drake saddles or just something. I don't know. We're going to need some good loot, um, but mainly those saddles or blueprints if we can find them. So yeah, let me uh, let me just focus on this and I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, so we're going to head out to the surface. Um, I'm in like, what is this? Like the north uh, west area here. Um, oh, you know what? Let me just show you right there. Look up at the top left-hand corner. We got latitude, we got longitude. You can see exactly where I am. Uh, let's go ahead and head out here. I think this is the one that I like the most because there's there's three of them in total and I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is the one I like. Um, Cause there's another one that's like really big and the drops are like all over the place, but this one here is actually quite good. So let me try and see if we can manage to grab a couple drops here. Uh, we probably can because that Reaper is like right up on us already. Uh, actually, in fact, there's two of them. Let me see if I can just lead them away instead of constantly having to fight them. Although, you know what? Never mind. We've got a really strong Rock Drake now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and fight all three Reapers all at once. All four, I guess. We're just going to keep fighting them. Um, <laughs> there's so many of them. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. Where did that one go? That one's just like peaced out. He doesn't even care. All right. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh, we need to cool down. We are super hot. That is really not helping at all, actually. In fact, wow. Okay. Yeah, I did not bring um, a hazard suit. Instead, I'm just in my tech suit. So we might actually not be able to stay out here for too long, considering that. Because uh, my cool water does not seem to actually cool me down at all. Cool. All right. <laughs> or maybe it's not cool. Let's see. Let's uh, try to grab this drop as well. Okay, we got it very good we're gonna get a lot of crap here to be honest we're not gonna get like amazing things constantly but hopefully we can find some red drops actually let's see any more drops yeah this one here is the nicest one because you can kind of see the whole area and it's not gigantic uh, maybe there's less drop spawning but you don't have to move around as much so i don't know that's a win in my buck uh what hello <laughs> you're like all the way up there okay let's see let's just go ahead and kill them I did level up this Rock Drake a good amount, actually. Um, not a huge, huge amount, but he's uh, he's pretty good now. He's got um, 3,500 on the stem, and he's got... What is it again? Let me show you just one sec. We are really dying, though. These freaking Reapers are insanely powerful. We probably shouldn't be fighting this many of them. So, yeah. Uh, for the melee, 1, 2, 3, 4, point 2. Um, all right, let's see. We got a red drop. Amazing. Okay, cool. Um, still super hot really nothing i can do about that how quick are we dying from it not at all actually i think from the water it's stopping me from dying or something i don't really know uh it seems to be working cool all right so gotta wait for that to drop down um i can lead the reapers away at least i'm not gonna really fight too many more because we are actually really taking a lot of damage out here not a good idea Ooh, okay <laughs> All right, sweet. So we're just going to keep hunting down these drops. You got a couple more spawning in as well. Okay, they probably can't get to me here, right? <laughs> I love uh, I love how the Rock Drake feathers in the head like pop up like that when they're around Reapers. I don't know. It's just a nice little like detail. 
Also, it could be kind of handy, I guess, if you're playing PvP and that just randomly happens on a map that you don't have Reapers on. Then you know that there's a Reaper nearby with potential loot in the ground or it's coming for you. All right, so that is a blue with a ring. That is a red with no ring. I can't tell at least. Um, cool. All right, so we're going to have to wait for these two to come down. Hopefully more will spawn. What time is it though? Yeah, we're still good on time actually. We're, we're really good. We should be able to stay here for ages. Gonna constantly have to drink though, unfortunately. So my health is just plummeting. I really should have brought a hazard suit. That was my bad. Maybe we can get some pieces actually. <laughs> right, let's see, come on. Oh crap. Where the hell's that Reaper? Is it behind there? Are you kidding me? I wanted to grab the drop, but it wasn't ready. Um, maybe we can grab it anyway. Oh, yay. There we go. We got some hazard armor. And the Reaper didn't come for me. I don't know why. Um, cool. All right, what do we have? I'm going to drop that saddle because it's not very good. All right, so I just made a folder just so we can kind of see exactly what we have. Um, makes it a little bit easier. Like, this is all the stuff I came with. This is all the new stuff. So, nothing great so far. Although, now we have a bunch of drops spawning in. So, that's good. Let me go clear that area of Reapers first. There we go. Now I'm no longer uh, super flamed. So that's good. Gonna wait for both drops to be down before I go over. All right, here we go. Got it. Terrible. Oh my God, that's like awful. Really? <laughs> Ramshackle assault rifle. Who the hell cares about that? That is awful. Eh, terrible as well. And there's a bunch of Reapers. All right, so we've got two more blue drops to check out here. I'm just force feeding the rock drake a little bit. I've also not been in charge at all and nothing's been coming for me. I was kind of hoping that some nameless would come out, but nope, nothing at all. All right, let's see. Meh. Also kind of meh, although that is a blueprint, so. Not the absolute worst. Really nothing good at all. I'm actually just going to drop all the bad stuff because, I don't know, it's like weighing me down and I really don't even need to grind the stuff. Like we have so much stuff. We have so many materials, so I will keep this though, actually. Hmm, not bad. Got another blue drop coming in. Come on, where the hell are the red drops? Or even yellow, maybe? Eh, not bad, actually. That's actually kind of decent, but not really what I'm looking for. Oh, man. I feel like we're never going to get a Rock Drake saddle. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I do like this surface area, but now I'm seeing the issue. There's not that many drops. There's only ever, like, one or two. I mean, like, right now, there's none. Like, one's probably about to spawn any second now, but... Yeah... I don't know. Maybe for the next night, we should head out to a different area. Could be a good idea. All right. We got a red drop. Please be good. Just grabbed a... What was it? A purple drop, I think, in this area just a minute ago. So there shouldn't be any Reapers. Okay. Let's find a saddle blueprint. Um, Is that better than the one that I have? Let's see. You would have had a crafting skilled version of one of those saddles, right? And that's a 105.9. It's probably not better, but it's probably in around the same armor as the other one that I have. So it could be potentially better, but who knows? Um, still pretty good. I mean, like, just on the surface level, that actually is pretty decent loot, but just not exactly as good as the other one that I have, maybe, possibly. I don't really know. I guess we'll have to find out. All right, there's no more drops out here, and we're kind of getting close to the end of the nighttime. I think it's like just before 6 a.m. is when the flames start coming out, so can't really stay there for too much longer. But uh, yeah, just in general, the loot is not great. We got like two good things. That's about it. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and get rid of everything that I don't want here, and we'll probably just put all the items here into like a folder and name it like night one or something. Yeah. What time do the flames come back at? Is it five or six? I have no idea. I'm at this area, top left corner. Um, 
It's the one past the portal area. Well, it's not on fire yet, so I think it might be six. We have a drop over there. Do we have any more? I mean, I could probably cheekily try to grab one or two. <laughs> I could, like, run through this area and then upload myself to the obelisk as well. Could do that. All right, let's at least go for this one. Is that a yellow drop? Yeah, I think so. All right, I gotta watch that time, though. <laughs> like, I, I do not want to get set on fire. That is my least favorite thing. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is the yellow drop. We still have those reapers falling. Yes, we do. Lovely. <gasps> oh! Mastercraft is pretty good. Okay, what is that? Like 76 armor, I think it said. Do you have any more drops? No. Doesn't look like there's any more close by ones. I really don't want to be out here, actually. You know what? It, it could go on fire at any point. <laughs> I can't remember the exact time. All right, let me let me get out of here. I mean, we, we've also got the prize. Like, it's pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. Get out of here. Um, 76 armor is decent. I mean, goddamn, that is expensive, though, in terms of gems. And also metal, too. But, like, the gems, though. Goddamn. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Am I good with that? Like, is that is that a good Rock Drake saddle that I wouldn't really want to try and get a better one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, technically, this this is still night one, so we'll pop that into here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, it's it's a great saddle. If we crafting skilled, we could probably get close to a hundred. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. I think for the moment that's good. That's good for us. All right. Let me get back to uh, to Val. And then we'll uh, we'll craft a couple of these if we can. I mean, like, I know we have a lot of red gems. I just don't know if we have enough to craft, like, several of those Rock Drake saddles. Probably not. Let me just get through here. I can always come back out to the surface at some point and try to grab some more. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm good with that for the moment. All right. We got to find a way off of this arc. Uh, so that means finding a little uh, drop, which are sometimes kind of hard to find. So give me a little bit. How many of the, where is it? <laughs> oh, here it is. How many of these can I make? I wonder, uh, install blueprint. What is that? Is that like into the, no way I'd want to do that. What the hell? Why would I want to do that? That is, let me test this. Um, that's a weird feature. I didn't know that got added. Uh, let's test this out with some random gauntlets. Install blueprint. Let's see. Do we just... What's happened? <laughs> Do we just have chitin in here now? What? Oh, there it is. Oh, it upgraded it. That's actually kind of okay. That's, uh, I don't know. I, I definitely don't want to do that with all my other stuff, but I don't know. I could see how that could be useful, but then what would happen if I picked this up? Would that be gone forever? I would say it probably is, right? I don't want to test that, so yeah. Anyway, we'll just not use that feature. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's craft, um, can we craft, like, three of these? We have enough! Look at this! Okay, cool. Uh, I need to craft or grab a potion. Do I have one? I do not. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and just, uh, craft, like, three of these. I need stimulant? Oh, my God. I always need stimulant. Let's see. I just need to craft, like, 2,000 stimulant. Let's just do it. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. All right, that's more than enough for the moment, and here we go. You know what? Let's uh, let's make like twenty of those. <laughs> can we? Yes, we can. And here we go. Sweet. All right. So crafting skill potion. If uh, people aren't familiar with this, this is basically a mod that got made because I mentioned it in a video, and uh, it basically takes all of my levels, pumps them all into crafting skill, and then uh, resets that completely after what is it like two minutes or something? So foam. And let's go ahead and craft. Well, let's craft one first. 10%. Okay, not great. Uh, 16%. Also not great. Uh, even worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. Do I craft another? Oh, that hurts so bad. 16% is awful. <laughs> let's craft another two. I can. That's good. I don't know how much, how much sap I have. Uh, oh my, oh, there it is. Okay, I thought this was the one that we just got. Okay, 56 is good. I'm glad that I crafted another. That's good for me. I can't take that right now. I'll have to wait a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's good. I'm not gonna craft anymore. Um, they're very expensive. <laughs> 
so there we go cool now we just gotta wait until this potion wears off and i have my weight back or i guess we can just cheat the game and tech suit around like this <laughs> just gonna put away some blueprints I, I think uh oh look at that it is slightly better cool whereabouts of the gems yeah there they are so we have oh my god yeah we have like thirty-one thousand gems we have even more of all these other ones i don't know why i have more of this one than this one it's very confusing but yeah these are uh the two different types of green gems the i think these ones are called fragmented or something right yeah uh so many gems and sap and stuff all right so i wanted to come up here because it's a little bit brighter but here we go there is the saddle mostly cyan a little bit white and definitely suits this drake for sure um so yeah i think we're probably gonna end off the video here guys the uh mutated rock drakes pretty amazing actually honestly really really amazing um you know obviously going out to the surface like that uh, with the reapers and everything i did they did tear me apart a little bit but that's just kind of how it goes with with reapers they do like two to three hundred damage per hit and you know they can swarm you as well so they really can kill very very leveled up and mutated creatures but yeah i still think that these drakes are still pretty amazing let me go ahead and hit up this drop because why not even though it's probably not gonna have anything good in it just as i thought but um yeah i don't know we uh we gotta figure out some more stuff to do with the drakes though for sure i'll definitely end up fighting rockwell at some point soon i think we have a little bit of grinding before we do that i don't know if i have all of the tributes for it we might not i think i did kill an alpha reaper at some point though so i don't know we'll see but uh we'll try and do that at some point soon honestly i was kind of hoping to try and do that on foot because i think that would be kind of fun but maybe we'll do it with the drake first and then do it on foot um, oh hey look it's our little museum that i haven't touched in a little while i'll do some more work on that at some stage you know how it is what is that glowy thing oh it's a generator okay that was confusing anyway that is it for today and i will catch you in the next one